So I'm here at the Cleveland Clinic in Las Vegas. This is where they're doing the biggest fighters brain study in the world right now, where they're trying to learn more about CTE and the damage that boxing and MMA, and, well, and getting punched in the head is doing, what damage is doing to the brain. So I've been coming here now for four years. I've been the last, I've been three times the last four years. I'm supposed to come every year, but I missed last year. And the tests that they do here is like they do things like uh, memory tests when you be on a computer, they do speech tests, um, balance tests and then as well you get an MRI scan and the first time I came here I was 30 years old this was like four years ago and back then um, when after I did the test the, the doctor said that my brain was average for a 30 year old and I was really happy with that um, but then the doctor said to me well you know we've got to keep testing every year to see if your brain is getting better or getting worse um, because yeah, when I was 30, my brain was average and my test results was average for a 30 year old. But he said, for all we know, when you were 25, you could have been above average, so it's slowly deteriorating. Um, so yeah, it's been great being part of this, uh, this, this fight of brain study. And uh, every time I come, I get a little bit nervous, you know, I get a little bit nervous of the results. So last year when I did, when I came here, the results was, um, was, was good, sorry not last year, the year before, the results was good, they said my, my brain health got better, but that year, in 2017, I had a year off alcohol, and I was training a little bit more, exercising, so then I've been back on the drink, been back on the booze, so I'm nervous now to see what, what it's like, you know, um, and one thing that I did find out after the first year of doing these tests is that my brain, um, well, what attaches my brain to my skull, well, what attaches everyone's brain to the skull, it's called a membrane. It's like the bit skin, what attaches to the skull. Mine has got a really big split in it, and that's off being punched in the head. When you get punched, your brain shakes, and it's shook that much that it split my membrane. He did say that there's no evidence that, there's no evidence right now that that affects you in everyday life. Uh, but it was still very scary to find out that I've got a split on my brain, that there's nothing that you can do to heal that split. Uh, but I guess when he says there's, there's no evidence that it affects your everyday life, it, it makes me feel a bit better. And as well, he said, I think it was like something like 50% of the fighters that they do this study on has got this split as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and get some videos when I'm in there uh, of, of me doing tests or whatever, and uh, I'll post them on here. But if you have any questions, you can leave me them in the comments below and i really do think that fighting has had an effect on my brain uh, and I can, I can see it and i can feel it you know i'll forget what i've got to do sometimes i'll lose track of thought when i'm in the middle of a conversation i might think about something else and my mind drifts elsewhere and um, i'll lose my car keys all the time which i think a lot of people do and i always blame it on boxing blame it on getting punched in the head you know i had a 106 fights in my career and before I did the maths on that if I got punched in the head uh, I think it was like five times in every round of them fights and then for each one of them fights I sparred 10 times six rounds and each round I got punched five times in the head anyway I've done the maths and I've come come out that I've been punched in the head around 50,000 times give or take a few thousand so yes when I put it like that it would be impossible for unboxing not to affect my brain. So right now I'm doing a big questionnaire <clears throat> about, about a lot of things really, about sleep, your attention span, how well you concentrate when you're doing things like reading and that sort of thing. This is all part of the, the study. So some of the questions that I'm going off now, it's like they're asking us about uh, the impulse skill. So it's like things like, uh, do you do things without thinking? Rarely, occasionally, often, or always. There's the check boxes. Uh, <clears throat> do you concentrate easily? Do you find it easy to stay concentrated? Uh, do you are you bored during lectures? Are you a careful thinker? Uh, do you buy things on impulse? Uh, can you only think of one problem at a time? Oh, do you have outrageous thoughts when you're thinking? That sort of thing. So, yeah, some of the questions. And then some more talks about how many times you've had concussions 
when you've been fighting, when you've been sparring. I've had about seven or eight concussions in my life. Uh, it's asking about your boxing record and uh, when you have had been concussed, do you feel dizzy, uh, nausea, stunned, dazed? How long did you have headaches for after that? If you did have headaches, when did you get punched in the face last? Uh, so it's asking all sorts of these these questions, and then obviously they'll go back and then they'll, they'll study these, they'll look at these results and compare them with my results from the last three years I've been here, and then see if anything's changing over time. So they'll compare these answers with the answers that I give with the same questions in the last three years and see if there's any any changes. But I think there is changes because. Uh, there will be change, some changes because I change as a person. It's got nothing to do with the brain. Like when it's asking questions about, um, do you have a poor appetite right now? Uh, how what your energy levels like? Because I think that depends on more than just the brain. But obviously, they need to have it in here for for the reasons, whatever they're doing with a study with this. Test you're gonna do, they're gonna show you 15 words for two seconds each, and you have to try to remember them. Okay, we'll start now. Okay, so this is the first part. They're gonna ask you to immediately remember those words you just saw, and if you remember, if you recognize that word from the list, you press the space bar. Okay, enough. So it's stopping for a certain amount of time. Yeah. So you press the space bar if you are in. Okay, excellent. We'll move forward. So this is the finger tapping test. I don't know if you did this last yeah, time. Yeah, because we first. So yes, you first we'll start with your right hand, okay? And you're gonna tap, tap, this tap one. this one as Good. fast as possible. Um, this is practice, so don't waste your energy on All that. Right. Okay. Ten seconds. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Go left one. Right? Okay, same left thing. one, same thing. Okay, no Stop practice. This is the real deal. There's three parts. The first part is you're just going to press the space bar when you see a word, any word on the screen. Okay. okay? This is practice. All right, so that's the real test coming up. Okay, next one is going to be uh, you're going to press the space bar when the color matches the word. Right. So the ink matches the word. It's a There you go. Huh? It's a Yes, this is a practice. All right, next part, last one. It's going to be those 15 words that we asked you to, we showed you in the beginning. We're going to ask you to remember them if you can. And press the space bar if you recognize them. When the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air, they act like a prism and form a rainbow. The rainbow is a division of white light into many beautiful colors. These take the shape. And next thing is going to be animals. Um, I'm going to ask you to name as many animals as you can in 60 seconds. Okay, you're going to ask them. Hippopotamus, elephant, rhinoceros, crocodile, Alligator, bird, uh, cat, dog, monkey, ape, gorilla. <laughs> oh, we might as well blank. Uh, kangaroo, rabbit. Because probably they couldn't keep up with you. <laughs> you got a lot, actually. 
Okay, next one is going to be F words. Um, you're going to tell me as many words that start with an F as oh. you can. You can't do like 51, 52, 53. Right. Um, you can't do proper nouns like friends or Frank. And can't see it. Uh, no, because it's a proper noun. Right. Okay. But um, the F word counts, and you can go. Fucking up. Find, finger, uh, fill, frankly, uh, Francis. Uh, 21. That is excellent. That's one of the hardest ones. Most people don't get past 17. Really? Yeah. Okay, a narrative. So this is easy. You just talk about something for 60 seconds. Any story that you want to tell me, how you met your wife, or you know, something about your kids, okay. your pets, whatever you want. Okay, do you have something in mind? Uh, so what I do for a living right now is I teach people how to teach boxing to other people. It's all Boxing Burn Academy. This is an education program where we teach fitness people. Fitness enthusiasts, fitness enthusiasts, how to teach boxing to other people from a form of fitness. As well, what we do on the course, we teach people how to build their clientele, how to retain relationships, how to retain clients. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Pa, 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 pa. As fast as you oh, can. Pa. Yeah, puh. You haven't done this before. This no. is new. Okay. <laughs> See, I, I did it, so don't yeah. be embarrassed. Pa, 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 pa. Right. You have to, it has to be, you have to, I have to be able to understand. Uh, yeah, you can't do that. You have to say pa, 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 pa. Okay, P U H. Pa, 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 So now I'm about halfway through the test and then some of the things that I've been doing, the nurse has just went out to change the voice recorder and that, think of as many words as you can with the letter F is hard, I've got like 23, and think of as many animals as you can. You think it's easy, but when you're doing it, it's really hard. And again, they're gonna compare these results with what I've got in the last uh, two years. And uh, hopefully it's improved. I feel like I have, I was worried and I thought that I'm gonna go backwards, but. I feel like I'm on fire today, so we'll, uh, we'll see. So these are some of the fighters that's participating in this fighter's brain study on the wall here. They haven't got my picture yet, I need to send them a side picture. And over here on this one as well. So there's a lot of famous faces that you can see on here, which is great to see. Okay. Next one is ka 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 Okay. ka 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 that's so all I thought. Okay, that's it. Uh, that was the speech. Let's do the balance stuff. Okay. This is a hard. This is harder than it looks as well. This balance one. The other. And expand it for comfort. Okay. Is so, it okay like this? Yeah. So we got the iPad on the back. Yep. This measures the balance. Right. Yes, it does. So the first position is going to be feet together, touching, hands on the hips, eyes closed. Like this, okay? When the bell dings, you keep that position. If you go out of that position, that's an error, okay? Okay. okay. We're starting when the bell dings. Right, let's close my eyes. Right. Sorry. Yeah, eyes closed now, right? Yes. The volume is down. Next one is going to be. Um, Lips, eyes closed, okay. Mm -hmm. So, when I hear the bell? You can try it, yeah, if it works. Okay, yeah. exactly like that. With hands on the hips and eyes closed, I'm going to the bell. So, I fall, or I just get back? Three, yeah, two, you just get back one. into it.
actually agree. That's hard. Yeah, it's harder than it looks. Yeah. Okay, this one you're going to put, let me make right sure there. I'm telling you the right thing. Um, your left foot behind your right foot. So you're going to do like this. Oh, right, okay. Tandem, yeah. And hands on the hips, eyes closed. Okay. Okay, when the bell dings. You yeah. don't have to close your eyes. Five. But I'm not closing my eyes. <laughs> Three, two, one. Close my eyes. Yes. <laughs> yes, you are. On the left leg. Ah, uh, yes, same thing. We're not switching legs. S V Z D K. Mm -hmm. Start turning your head already when the tone plays, and then they'll show you the letters and tell me what you see. O N H R C. All right. O N H R C. O H S D K. What does that one do? Testing visual acuity. The acuity, not what is that not one? um. We're not testing your vision to see like the numbers. It's yeah. just how far you can see, how well you can read while turning your head. Just like how I can't describe it. It's okay. Like the where the green appears, you're going to leave the other side stationary. Right. And that's going to repeat 25 this times. This is still practice, yeah. And they want to test your reaction time when you're given a choice. Right. Randomly. Just the green, right? Yep. Just the green. This is basically connect the dots. You're going to drag the orange dot to the next number in order. Mm -hmm. And then start test larger scale. Oof. Whoa. So. <laughs> nice. Okay. This is from a number to a letter. 1A, 2B, 3C in order, okay? easy for you, right? It's my first day. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> my wife's a nurse, and she, uh, she loves me being. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet. Baby needle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Baby needle, look at the size of it. Tiny. It's giant. It's nothing. Don't be soft. It's just. <laughs> Finished all the computer tests, all the balance tests, and uh, went and seen the doctor, done some more tests and talking with him. Went over the results. I'm gonna get an MRI scan now for the next 45 minutes. And then after that, I'm gonna post some stuff on here because I've got a lot of video of the tests. And then uh, I'll talk more to you after about the results that I got. So for the MRI scan, I've got to get naked. But look at these bad boys that they give us to wear. You okay?
there's a lot more of them tests that I've got recorded that I'm going to be sharing in the next few days. Um, but overall, my test result, results are pretty good. Like I said before, that um, my, my brain is average for back then up to 30, 30 year 